I'm about to draw parallels between boxing and UX. Ready? Fight. So here's some fun stuff to hit you with today. Design Today's first course is live and available to you. And did I mention it's free? Completely free. Why? Well, I've been asked on more occasions than I can remember to review or get my thoughts on UX designers resumes and portfolios that I wanted to put something together, a free resource to answer those questions. This first free course is all about taking your UX resume from zero to hero. Literally, you can start with absolutely nothing and in a few hours have a beautiful resume geared towards helping you get a phone call from your next application. To find that resume run through course, head over to designtoday.com slash courses. There's so much more to come on that. I'll be announcing things to come here in the following weeks. Also, before I forget, a huge shout out to everyone who saw my post on LinkedIn last week about building a Slack community and shared it to their networks. We saw the single greatest uptick in new people to the community in any single week. Welcome everyone who's joined and to those who've not yet joined, come and do so. Receive your email invite by going to designtoday.com slash community. Promo, 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 enough. Okay, let's go. About two years ago, I started down the path of wanting a new athletic outlet. I was bored of going to the gym and wasn't even motivated to keep it up anymore. Over the last decade, I've been a big fan of MMA styled fighting and I thought I'd try and find a gym that I could train at. Well, there wasn't any nearby. So I jumped to the next best thing, boxing. There's a real reputable boxing gym within a mile of my house, and that was that. I trained for about a year straight a few times each week, and it was so much more intense than any other workout I had been a part of. And on top of that, I was learning a new technical skill, something that was more than just throwing weight around. So fast forward to today. I'm now in quarantine, and I still have not found the courage to head back to the gym yet. I've not stopped training, however, and said I've learned to train differently here at home. One of my biggest weaknesses as a boxer was how slow I was moving on my feet. When you think boxing, you probably think you need to have strong upper body. You throw some punches, you block some punches, and you're good. Well, you're wrong. Among the most helpful skills is quick feet. Always dancing and moving those feet around. Staying in your toes so you can slide left or slide right, duck, bounce back, or move in. If you've ever looked at a video of Muhammad Ali fighting, you'll see how light he was on his feet. Have you ever heard the saying, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee? That's an Ali quote. The float like a butterfly was referring to moving your feet, specifically around that boxing mat, maintaining balance and moving the feet quick. So what's the tie into the UX world? As a designer, we too need to remember to move our feet. If your one, two jabs are UI and UX design, and your other punches are skills like research, ideation, brainstorming, uh, wireframing, prototyping, then what's our quick feet? A boxer with quick feet will be able to maneuver around the ring and avoid the shots as an opponent is throwing them at you. But quick feet also will help you get into the position to deliver the right blows at the right time. Our UX feet are our unique ability to adapt and change to the conditions and information. What does that look like? You're at your desk jamming away on some user flows based off a set of stories that you're going off of. When you receive an email from an exec saying, project needs to pivot, what do you do? Stay light on your feet, understand the situation and how this email affects the stories, and then you pivot. You adjust, you adapt. Do you throw in the towel and give up? Or do you say, I can work with that, take a step back to your wireframes, adjust and continue forward? What else could it look like? Users are exploring your prototype and just not using it the way you thought they would. You slide to the left and you hit them with the left hook. You adapt, you iterate, and you redeploy the prototype. In order to adapt to the changing conditions, you need to have confidence in your ability in the ring. You need to understand the tools at your disposal. You might have a really good right hook, but let's work on that left cross. You'll never know when the next project will throw something unique your way, and you could be perfectly positioned for that left cross. I found that the only way I've been able to increase the speed in which my feet move is with practice. More time in the ring or more at home shadow boxing? To improve the speed of your UX feet, it'd be hard to convince me that it's not the same thing. Practice, practice, practice. Get yourself more opportunities to get in the ring and see more looks and get more opportunities. Do more UX. 
Find a passion project. Do something for your neighbor, your family member, or friend. Do something to benefit someone else in a situation that you're not familiar with. This will give you opportunities outside of your comfort zone. The punches you can throw in the UX world are no doubt important. No one has ever won a fight without throwing a punch. But which punch do you throw and how do you get yourself into position to throw it successfully? It all comes down to your ability to adapt to changing conditions and information. That's all I got for you today. Stay light on your feet, my friends.